Hey guys, sorry I didn't upload a video in the past couple of days. Reason being is that I've been away from my computer a lot. I've been hanging out with friends, I've been biking, and I've been just doing chores. Now, before I get into the main topic of this video, I just want to say that this video has been accidentally deleted before. So now I have to record this shit again. There'll be another story coming up in the next 30 minutes after this one, considering that I haven't uploaded in the last few days. So enjoy. So this first takes place about a month ago at my house. This guy, I'll call him Kenny. Kenny was texting me if I could hang out. Supposedly I was able to hang out with him because that was the day after me coming from Atlanta. I said no because I didn't have a bike that I could use. I would have been able to get a bike if my mother didn't have to drop off a friend from the airport. But unfortunately, I didn't. Now I can tell that Kenny wanted to hang out with me pretty bad. Usually when people text me with multiple question marks or anything that looks like the guy is desperate to hang out because usually those type of people are creepy and the type of people you don't want to hang out with. However, Kenny is not that kind of person. Now, don't get me wrong, Kenny is my nigga. I would hang out with him any day. So a few minutes go by, and then I feel tempted to walk all the way to Taco Bell in my city. It takes an hour to do so. My first thought was that walking over there was a terrible idea. I was going to be outside for a long ass time and it'd be boring. I said all that because the last time I walked that kind of distance was last winter when I was walking to school right after jumping up my mother's car. The fucking memories. So I ended up walking. I got there an hour later. I reached to the Taco Bell's parking lot and Kenny came out the front door. I was glad to see Kenny because it's been a couple of months. Now I know it's not that long, but concerning how long our summer break is, two months takes a big ass chunk of it. By the way, another friend of mine was at Taco Bell too. I'll call him Frank. Also glad to see him. So we sat there and chat for a few minutes. Then Kenny had to go to with his mom to Blaine for something that I do not remember. Frank and I had to wait for Kenny for two and a half hours. The first two hours was Frank and I waiting at Taco Bell. It was boring. Then Frank went to his house. So the last half hour, I went to another friend's house. He was friends with Bob, and I was afraid that Bob was going to be there. Because chances are, when Frank and Kenny come back to hang out with me, they'd be disappointed to see Bob there. I know many people would prefer not to hang out with Bob anyways. Especially having him in a group of people. Anyways, I went to the friend's house, and no one was home. So I walked to Frank's house. As soon as I entered the house, I felt like leaving. It smelled like a nigga did like 10 grams a week. Actually, I'm exaggerating. I don't know what, what it smells like. But I know that it smelled like someone was smoking a lot. So I went in the living room and the smoke was real. I went in Frank's room, covering my nose with my shirt because I do not like the smell of smoke. A few minutes later, a couple of guys came through. And in a matter of 45 seconds, these motherfuckers went from just having a night conversation to smoking i don't i don't know what they were smoking the reason why i made it sound like it's so bad is because one of the guys was 14 years old smoking with frank's parents no idea how shit works like that anyways another few minutes go by and kenny came through we walked around we went in an area outside of a church the mcdonald's kenny was blasting music until we got to mcdonald's we sat there for a couple of hours we plan on going to my house and spending the night there but Kenny had to ask his mom first. He had to come up with a name and other shit for me because his mom still hates me. Then he came out telling us that he can't come with me and Frank for some reason. His mom was mad at him. Up to this day, I don't know why. So instead of walking to my house, we went back to Frank's house. While we were walking, Frank and I noticed that there were flashing red and blue lights. Guess what it is? Bitch, you guessed it. The poly. <laughs> a few minutes go by, we hear pop noises. I thought it was the cars hitting the bumps on the highway, but it didn't make that noise every time the car crossed that bump. Frank said it wouldn't be fireworks. Turns out, there was a shootout at McDonald's. Shit like this never happened in my city, until now. Frank and I were lucky we left that bitch on time, because if we didn't, we would have been in danger. So we got to Frank's house. His older brother, Henry, let me borrow his bike to go home. So it was 10 o'clock at night, and I'm biking. It was a little chilly. Then I looked at the weather and it was 62 degrees. I was in a t-shirt and shorts. I was uncomfortable too because after all that shooting, I did not feel safe in public streets. So I got home safely, thank God. Next day comes and I try to hang out with Frank and Kenny. Neither of them were available. That's it for the story guys. Once again, like the video if you do. Subscribe for daily uploads. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace.